Welcome, this is Zahn with Repro Products. This video is on Bluebeam Review 2016 and the Studio features. Here in Bluebeam Review, under the icon for Bluebeam Studio, you have the ability to create sessions and projects. Projects is your online server that you have hosted by Bluebeam, which are Amazon servers, and you have the ability to upload any file and folder um, and sets of files and folders to that site so you can host your data. It is basic data file management. You can check in the files, check out the files, and look at revisioning history. Sessions allows you to create a digital conference room where you can place any PDF or PDFs in that environment and allow up to 500 people to tap into that environment and collaborate with you in real time. Projects, by the way, also gives you up to 500 users to access your files and or folders. So in order to create a new project, I click Start, New Project, and I give it a name. Click OK, and if you give Bluebeam a second, it will make the project for you, and then it will request you to either create a new folder upload files or upload folders. If I click new folder I can type anything that I want. Click OK and it will create the folder for me. From there I can right click that folder and I can upload files or folders. I can also from the top project level right click upload folders and upload files. For example if I click upload files I can just pick a few files, say this one and this one, hit open, and then it will get uploaded to that location. Depending on your web access speed and how many files you've selected and their file sizes will dictate how long it takes to upload the files. The two files that I have uploading are 83, 84 megs roughly on for one, and the other one being maybe half that. And um, again, like I said, depending on your pipeline speed at the office or wherever you are at, that will also dictate how long it takes to upload the data. You also have the ability to upload folders and any files that are contained within those folders and subfolders as well. So this would be a really good way for you to basically duplicate your file server back at the office for a particular project and then you can start working with the data. Now, here is the name of the project ID. I can click this invitation email here that allows me to send an invitation to whomever I want via email. Click OK, and if I click OK, it'll send a standard email message saying, um, Zahn from Repo Products would like to give you access to his project. Click the link and they'll get in. They obviously need Bluebeam Review in order to do this. If you have at any point in time, you can click the settings, and it will get you into the settings of the project, the name, the ID, how many users, how many files and folders, being able to manage notifications and links, also setting up user access permissions and folder permissions as well. You have the ability to leave this at any point in time and it stays up there permanently unless you right click and delete it. If you double click it, it gets you right back into that actual project so you can do whatever you need to do. In order for you to create a session, a digital conference room to upload a PDF file, you can either start the session and then pick a PDF file to upload or from within a project, right click any PDF file and say add to new session. If I do it this way, it's a little easier because the files are already up there and it's just basically moving a copy to that location. So I'll click add new session. And in here I can give that session a name. I'll set it up as sample estimating uh, discussion. Click OK. It creates a brand new session gets you out of the project, starts the session, uploads the file into the session, and sets it up so that you can see who are the attendees, the ability to uh, email and lock the data 
for their access. Uh, the file can be seen that it's being updated and validating. You can add more and you can sort. And then down here it gives you a record panel, a notifications panel, and a pending panel. The record panel basically records everything that occurs in this digital conference room. Anybody that gets in and gets out, anybody that marks anything up, all that data is going to be tracked and logged here, which you can export out if you need to. And I'll do a few of them in a second so you can see there's a long list of um, data that's being tracked. The notifications tab allows you to see if any other end user has notified you of a markup that they created that is not within the visible area of where you are currently working. You might be on sheet A1 and that other end user may be on sheet A5. And so you're not going to be able to see his markups unless he notifies you. And then the pending basically is a running record log of any activity that occurs should you lose access to the web. This icon up here shows two plugs that are connected with a green check mark. And if you lose connectivity, that will break and it will show you two plugs that are unconnected. If that occurs, then the pending tab kicks in and it starts to track and log any changes that occur. Once you are back online and you've logged back into your Studio Bluebeam uh, session and your account, all that pending information gets pushed back up. And so that's kind of the initial process of how to set up a Bluebeam Studio project or session uh, and how to upload a PDF file into a session so you can start modifying and marking up that data. As soon as this file is finished being uploaded, I will double click the file to open it up and then we can start inputting some markups so you can see how the data is being recorded. So now that the file is uploaded, it shows you the file here. I can go to any page that I need to, and I can start marking up that data. So for example, if I go to markups and I start putting in content, let's say for example a cloud, you will see that that information is just being tracked and recorded here in the record panel. And I can go through this as much as I need to and add whatever I need to. And just work as though I'm in the PDF file marking it up. The ability for you to take this information, select this icon, you gives you the ability to create a PDF package report that exports out that data for you. These are the columns of information that gets exported, date, time, document, and page. It includes all the attendees, the documents, and filtered recorded items. You can specify the page size and the orientation. Specify the title, the notes, and the description. And click OK. And it will generate the report, and it will ask you where you want to place it. I'll put it under my temp folder and click Save. Once that's finished, I can open up my temp folder and go to that file. And it's a report. And you'll see it says PDF package report. I can see that the top level is a folder called documents and the PDF report is here. If I double click it, it will open up the report and it'll tell you the name of the report, the date, who the attendees are, how many documents there are, and all the record information. What you'll also notice it, is that these are icons that are actually links to the file itself for those markups. So it's a great way for you to not just record the data, but get to that data as well. At any point in time, if you're finished with the session, you can either leave it and stay active with the session. In other words, leave the room but not close up the room so that other users can jump in and continue to do work. Or if you know the discussion for that particular file is finished, you can click Finish and it will end the session. You can save the data if you need to. I'm not going to save the data for now. Click OK and the session will be completed. 
Um, and that's a good tutorial video on Bluebeam Studios sessions and projects. Thank you very much.